we ourselves are not made for space. So it's, it's fascinating whenever we get to understand how that affects us. Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams expected to be in space for just over a week when they took off last June aboard Boeing's Starliner capsule. Today we were meant to see uh, the new crew head up to the space station, which would see the capsule return those astronauts back home. Unfortunately, that mission did get scrubbed, which is something that we do see happen quite frequently with rocket launches. The astronauts' extended time in space will have taken a physical toll. Their muscles will have atrophied, so they will have trouble walking for the first couple of days, and that's completely normal. Everybody who comes back from space experiences that, and that it will take them several weeks to months to build back up some of that muscle mass. Um, their bone density will be affected, and all of this is studied by NASA to better understand how human bodies react to space. Isolated to the space station, which is the size of a large house, the astronauts have also had to work to maintain their mental health. You asked what we miss, right? Of course, you know, the thing Things that we always miss, our families. I miss my two dogs, I miss my friends. But we do expect them to launch in the next 24 hours or so. So it is still looking likely that those astronauts will be returned home within the next week or so. And the challenge won't be over when their feet are finally back on the ground. Adapting to Earth's environment after a stint in space can take up to a year or even longer.